Hi guys, this is Kid Flash here, and welcome you back to um, let's my Mega Man and Base Race Part One, as I call it. Basically, as you can see, I'm going to be playing bo as both Mega Man and Base side by side to see who is faster. Basically, in this game, the main gimmick is you can play as both Mega Man and Base. Other than that, it's a normal Mega Man game. As Base, you can dash, double jump, and shoot in multiple directions. As Mega Man, you can slide, charge shot, and give a thumbs up. His thumb his thumbs ups are just way just way far superior than bases. Although I'm sure if Bass did ever did do his thumbs up in real like in his everyday life, I'm sure it would be spectacular. Anyway, so yeah. As you can see how this is gonna work is for one one they're both Mega Man and Blaze are gonna start start a stage at relatively the same time. I'm not perfect, I'm not a machine. But basically when when a character finishes a stage They'll wait for the other character to finish the stage so they can start at the same time again the, for the next stage. And the time they're waiting will go into the total lead. So if, for instance, Base wins this stage and it takes 9 seconds for Mega Man to catch up, his lead will be 9 seconds. How, the, how this whole thing is going to go, I don't know. I haven't actually finished recording everything yet, but I do know the first few episodes how it's going to work out, and I, I won't spoil it. So basically my background history with this game. This is actually probably the first classic Mega, ga Man Mega Man game I've played. I mean, like, I didn't grow up with the NES or SNES games because, like, you know, I'm relatively young. But I did grow up with this. Like, I actually grew up with the, um, the Battle Network series. And I was just a big... I was a Mega Man fan through the Battle Network series. And I got this game, and I really liked it. It was hard at first, but, like, you know, you develop... Like, people say this is the hardest Mega Man game, actually. And, like, I don't know, I, I sort of agree, but at the same time... Because I've been playing this for so long, I kind of know how to do it well. I mean, there are obviously people who are still better than me, and but, you know, I, I think I'm relatively good at it. You can tell by looking at Bass's side. Anyways, if you can tell by the sound, I'm only showing off um, Bass's sound. You can kind of hear Mega Man's sound if you listen real closely, but I'm, I turned his down and Bass's, Bass, Bass's sound is going to be the sound we're most hearing. The reason why this is is because as, we, as anybody who's played a Mega Man game knows that Mega Man has a charge shot and goes wee 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 and it's just annoying so I'll just leave it at base for now. Anyways, we're at the end, base is kind of trailing behind, so here's this dialogue. The story of this game is King's messenger up, go save the world. I, I, I don't know the story actually. So anyways, I won't allow you to violate this robot museum. I've downloaded all the data of the battle of robots. Now I can create an invincible robot army. Since you're a robot, you're qualified to join. Another bug squash? I'm sure my robots will entertain you. Wait, King. Is, is, is Proto Man saying, Wait, King, stop this crazy madness, or Wait, King, please don't cut me in half? It's just a scratch <laughs> from Mega Man's side. That's crazy. Go to Dr. Wright for repairs. And what does Base say? Nothing. Nothing. He doesn't even care that Proto Man is just kind of there on the floor. But yeah, Mega Man's, um, the, um, so differences with Mega Man and Base. Ba um, I should go on this. Um, Mega Man has far inferior stability. Um, what's it called? Mega Man has okay platforming skills, but it pales in comparison to bases, who can double jump and dash and get like this crazy um, momentum. And what Mega Man, I guess, has to compensate is that he has um, more firepower than bases, base buster. And yeah, I guess I can make. Then you could argue that he's like he's better at defeating bosses, which you can see here. But the thing is, um, the thing about that is just, well, as you all know, for anybody who's played a Mega Man game, when you beat a boss, you get their power. So it's not like Mega Man's powers are like stronger than Bass's power. So by the time like both of them are incorporating powers in this game, you know they both did the same damage. So Mega Man, so Bass has the um, advantage. Like at the beginning, like plus the, um, and it's really easy to get into Bass's like thing because he has like, I just I guess it's just easier as Bass basically is what I'm trying to say. And over here, I got really lucky with the drops. I don't know, it was kind of crazy. Like both Mega Man and Bass got like a lot of screw drops. Basically, screws are the currency in this game. Um, you can go to Auto Shop, which we'll check out later, and you can buy stuff with screws. A big screw is worth 15, and a small screw is worth 5. While we're at the subject of Mega Man and powers, I always loved the concept of, like, beat a boss, get the power. I always liked that in Kirby and Mega Man. It's just, I thought it was a really cool idea, and I do like it in the Mega Man games. I thought it was always badass. I always liked the, like, the pallet, the pallet swaps and whatnot. Anyways, we're gonna be fighting Cold Man. Cold Man? Because... <laughs> Because I guess, like, you know, ice is already taken. They're running out of ideas. Just another ice monster. Basically, um, over here is Spikes. Everyone who's played the Mega Man game knows about Spikes. Spikes are instant death. At the shop, there's an item that you can buy that actually, um, Spike Shield. That makes it so you can take a hit from Spikes. So Spikes aren't that bad. Over here, we have a mini-boss. It's fairly simple. You just keep on shooting his head. 
he'll try to jump at you sometimes. What you have to do is um either slide or dash away. He'll be kind of be persistent sometimes. Like if you if you do if you dodge him, he'll try to do it again. Um, I almost find this easier as Mega Man because in all honesty, it's kind of easier to slide than it is to dash. I mean, dashing isn't too hard. You just double tap a, the directional pad. But I don't know. The press of a button just seems more simple than that. I mean, I think in the SNES version there was an SNES version. This is um, this is actually a port of a game, and I was almost, I was almost um, I was almost um, tempted to play the SNES version because for one thing, um, again, what was I gonna say? Something about something, right? It was I had a, I had a whole reason that I had just forgot, but the main thing is that the um, is that the what should I call? <laughs> is that the screen's small. The screen's bigger in the SNES version, and that like that really helps in one stage. But yeah, and the sound the sound effects are kind of different. But other than that, yeah, and also I think Bass has a button for his dash instead of just double tapping because there's more buttons on the SNES. <coughs> anyway, so yeah, I think that's all we have to cover today. I mean, in this section, it's Bass has the easier time because he can double jump and get places Mega Man can, whereas Mega Man, who isn't actually there yet, has to you know, rely on the experts with being shoot at. So, um, what's up with you guys? Today, Justin, what's, I haven't been doing much, just got back from school. In school, we had to, we ha we were in science class, and we were in the labs for science, instead of, and instead of doing work, me and my friends wrote an essay, a small little essay, just a paragraph, about how Gandalf the Grey and Dumbledore were played by two different actors. Yeah, we made a bet, we thought, I thought it was the same person, it's not, we did a whole comprehensive look on it. Anyways, as you can see, this is Cold Man. His strategy is pretty simple. He shoots a wall from you, you just jump over it. As base, if, you're, if you haven't noticed, his base buster only does one damage, one little pellet at a time. Whereas Mega Man does a whole chunk of damage. Again, because, um, because base isn't using his powers, because he doesn't even have any powers yet, he has to rely on his base buster, which really doesn't do that much damage compared to Mega Man's Mega Buster. So Me Mega Man does, definitely has the advantage in this fight. Um, anyways, bang, um, he's doing an attack right there. Anyways, after about half health, he starts shooting at a cloud. Um, you kind of have to change your strategy here. As Mega Man, what you want to do is shoot the cloud, jump over, and shoot him when he tries to shoot the cloud again. As base, you can just aim up, because he can aim in multiple directions, and yeah, it's pretty simple as both enemies. It's a really easy boss, I'd highly recommend starting as him. <laughs> um, Ground Man isn't too bad of a choice, but you know, I'd just rather start as Ice Man, because that's how I've always been doing it. Anyway, so Mega Man's already won. Base is kind of trailing behind. Come on, Base, get get into this race. Come on, you falling behind. And timer's starting again. He's already nine seconds behind, so that's just gonna pile up. Come on, hurry up and kill him. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm well, what else do I have to say? Again, you beat a boss, you get their power. It's just all pretty um, you know, basic Mega Man and base stuff. I like the Mega Man series. I think it's a really cool series. And they all they both have their own ways of getting power. I like how Mega Man base shoots is like does his whole little shoot up into the sky badass thing. Base is just really just the general, you know, cliche badass. He's like Shadow the Hedgehog. He's like Vegeta. He's like all those characters you know of. Anyways, so Mega Man's 40 seconds ahead now. Jeez, that's kind of a big lead. But they both got the ice wall. Um, ice wall. You make a, you make a wall of ice, obviously, and you can push it and you can slide along. As Mega Man, this really helps because you can stand on the ice wall and go over spike pits or get an extra boost because Mega Man has bad, um, you know, thing. Anyways, for, but when you beat Iceman, you unlock two extra stages, and we're gonna be doing one of them called Burner Man. Anyways, I like the idea that you get, um, like, I mean, the idea of starting off with all eight Roman Masters is cool, but what I really like about Mega Man and Base is that, like, when you beat a boss, you get a path to two new bosses. And, like, as we all know, one, one of, um, a boss's power is always, um, the weakness of another boss, which in this case, Burner Man is weak to Ice Wall. So, like, you know... I like how they give you like when they give you a new stage. It's always it's gonna be one of the it's gonna be like the the power you got from that boss is gonna be one of the, one of the two bosses' weaknesses. And I think it's I think it's better than just like guessing. Like you beat like let's say you beat Bubble Man. You're like who do I fight this one? No, that's pretty self-explanatory. Fire and water. But let's say you beat Charge Man, and you're like who the hell do I fight Charge Man with after this. So yeah, I like it, like, because you beat Iceman, and then you're like, okay, so I have Pirate Man and Burner Man. I mean, you know, just putting two and two together, it's a one, it's a 50-50 shot of that I'm gonna get the boss, who's this is weakness is, is. But I'm on a ramble. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, on base's side, as you can see, there's a CD over there, in the bottom right of the screen, and bottom left of the screen, rather. 
Um, CDs, there are a hundred in the game, once you get them, they're gone for good, and they're collectibles in this game, just neat little fun things. Basically, um, when you get them, it sh you can go to the CD base and look up a bio, it shows a bio for, like, I'm pretty sure all the robots, all the characters you've seen in the Mega Man series thus far. And it's really cool, um, I will try to collect all the CDs in bonus parts, for now I'm just gonna skip them and get them later. They're really, like, they, that's where, um, Clement J642 gets his bios, I was tempted to read the bios for, um, Mega Man and base, but, you know, Clement J642 already did, and I don't want to copy him. As you can see here, in base's side, he's shooting, um, he's shooting a thing. Mega, base can't shoot through walls, actually, that's one thing Mega Man, base can do that Mega Man can't. So, you know, that's just a little thing, kind of, like, trying to show off the difference between Mega Man and Base, which they try to do a lot. They show, like, oh, Mega Man has these shortcuts, and Base doesn't. It's, it's almost like they try to, like, make it seem like Mega Man is better than he is. And I guess I can't really talk shit about Mega Man, because, like, you know, he's winning by 40 seconds right now. But, you know, <coughs> I guess I just really like Base, base more. I hope he wins, actually. I hate to say it, but I hope he wins. And he would do, do win. Like, later stages really show the difference between Mega Man and Base. Anyways, you can go here for health. Mega Man can just skip that entire section because he can slide, you know, show nothing. Over here, this bomber guy, he'll shoot a bomb, and it will create fire all over the ground, and that fire is instant death. You have to be on safe ground to do this. This can be really hard and nerve-wracking as Mega Man, because you have to kill the cannons first, and then you have to get onto high ground. And because of Mega Man's bad jumping ability, you you might have to use Ice Wall for some things. I don't think... Like, that's what, um, like, the strategy guide I used to have said, but you don't really actually have to use Ice Wall. Anyways, but base is done with this section. Um, he's at low health, so he's gonna be fighting Burnerman soon with this dragon. Don't know what this dragon's doing here. <laughs> Just cruising about. And Mega Man's catching up, and again, Mega Man has kind of the easier time at bosses. Actually, if it wasn't for my carelessness, I had, like, I handled this boss, I handled this boss as base really poorly, actually. I really could have done better. Like, I was just really, like, I don't know, just bad, I just did it bad, I actually died as base, and not as Mega Man. But you can double jump as base, so you'd figure, like, you'd have the extra time. Anyways, he's weak to Ice Wall, he's not actually really weak to Ice Wall, you have to use it in a special way. Basically, whenever he does the Wave Burner, or shoots grenades, you push an Ice Wall against him, and the Ice Wall will push, push him into a Spike Pit, and that's what da does damage. As you can see, as Mega Man, I just killed him. I got lucky as Mega Man, I gotta say, because he really does do the grenade attack, which you can see on base's side, way more on that side, or I don't know, maybe, maybe somehow there was some difference, I, 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 I honestly find that this, um, this lead that Mega Man has right now is due to my lack of, my fault, it's not really base's fault, it's my fault, see, I'm doing, like, just really bad right there, I could've killed him, I, he could be dead right now, as base, and he could, I mean, he, base would still be losing, but not by, not by as much as he is. Anyway, so, um, I think this is gonna be the last boss fight we handled in this video. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, that base does his whole thing. And I I'm also convinced that base's animation for getting powers is slower than Mega Man's. That's probably not true, but it just feels like it. So yeah, there's another advantage to get base, base to have. But anyways, for beating, um, I'll, I'll just let this, the game handle it. For beating, for beating Burner Man, you get the Wave Burner. The Wave Burner is really good for taking out a lot of enemies, and it's really good for doing a lot of damage to close in close combats. But anyways, that as shown here, I like this little animation thing. But anyways, that's about it for my Mega Man and base race. Um, in the next part, we'll be ha taking on Burn, um, Pirate Man and other Robot Masters. This has been Skid Flash. Leave a comment of how you how you thought it. If you think this is a good idea or not, any comments you have to say, words. But this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye.